Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. We have already done the Matchbox B, a J, call it what you want, case unboxing. But there were a whole lot of good models in there. Instead of doubling up the time on that video, I thought I would do a separate video showcasing all the cool new stuff in the Matchbox 2019 B case. Couple of things. Eight models out of a 24 count case when there's multiples and repeats is really, really good. And they're all, with one exception, licensed, which is also good. Stuff we wanted to see from Matchbox. Now, one other detail. Of the eight models that I thought were highlights, things that you guys would want to see, What's cool is every one of those got duplicates. So two each of the Porsche, the Jeep Wagoneer, the anyway, all of these models that I'm gonna show you today as the highlights of the B case, all had multiples in the case. That's a big thing for Matchbox, something that we are not used to, which I think is kind of cool. Even Hot Wheels in a 72 count case will sometimes only put one of the good stuff in there. Um, so really, really nice to see. So let's walk through them. These are the eight models that I think are the highlights. Here's the artwork, here's the model. Matchbox Flatbed King, the only generic model um, of this, uh, of what I consider the highlights, but I think this one is a great one. This was a hit from last year and um, is something that uh, I think, you know, for hauling cars around, in fact, we'll put this off to the side so we can maybe put the last car I feature on, of it, on it. So you can pull this out, it moves, it pivots. And uh, we'll just put that there, and we'll uh, we'll put what I consider my favorite, um, my favorite model of the case on top of it. Right, something to look forward to. All right, this is a brand new casting. It is the Man TGS dump truck. There is the artwork, and here is the model. Okay, I like this one. It does look like the uh, base pivots. Uh, you got to make sure it's secure on there. No interior on this one. Does have the front grille done? Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit small based on scale. Maybe it's a little too small, a little too narrow. Um, you know, you're never going to be too scale with how things have to fit in blisters and the wheels and everything. But this one does seem a little on the small side, but still, licensed truck. I think that is very, very cool. Um, so there you go. That is the new, whatever you call it, man truck all right not a new model but a very nice one to see in the main line this is the dodge charger pursuit in a licensed deco in the unboxing i asked you guys and i'm filming this right after the unboxing so i've asked you guys to tell me where in canada because it's a canada um deco it says canada on the side where in canada this particular police car is from the Dodge Charger Pursuit casting. We're getting a new Dodge Charger this year. I have it. I don't know if I'm going to preview it yet. But the new Dodge Charger, it's a street model, but this is the police. Um, I really like, I've always liked this casting. I like that they use the five-spoke wheels on it. I think it's really, really nicely proportioned. Always been a fan. One I always collect, whether it's a generic deco or not. This one, nice to see as a licensed deco. Emergency vehicles, here's another one. Brand new casting is the International Terra Star. So you're going to have to think of it in two ways. There are um, many of you who do not like plastic models, plastic bodies, metal bases. I don't prefer them, I'll be honest. Um, but some of you is like, it is it is a major, major deal breaker. That's fine. Um, others don't mind it. All right, let's look at it in two ways. If we're looking at it strictly from looks, um, proportions, detail, I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, nicely proportioned, not as small as the other ones. It's a really, really cool looking car, a cool looking model. It doesn't look like it has an interior. At least it doesn't show up in this one because um, it has the dark windows. But um, but yeah, it looks plastic. Uh Licensed Deco El Segundo Fire EMS. I'm assuming it's licensed, but maybe not. Um, has the ambulance sign on it. I thought they couldn't do that. I thought you couldn't put the ambulance sign on it. Maybe they can now. Um, that emergency symbol. Or maybe it's just a little bit different. I don't know. So yeah, I'm sure there'll be mixed opinions on that one. You guys can let me definitely leave comments on what you think of the ambulance. Um, does it bother you or not? All right. 47 Chevy 80 3100. This one debuted as a um in the chevy truck series last year and here it is in blue looks really really nice a 
No chrome grill this time, just the plastic uh, base that we've seen with a lot of the Matchbox models. I think they have to kind of pick and choose what gets the chrome treatment, uh, which, yeah, I get it. It's kind of a bummer as well, but still, I like this casting a lot. Jimmy G's Saddlery, uh, that's Jim Gallegos. Jim Gallegos runs the Matchbox Gathering, the convention that happens every July. You should definitely attend in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So there is that one. Really, really nice. Nice to see that one in the basic range. All right. Let's go with the Volkswagen Caddy Delivery. First time we've seen this in a very long time. This one's been, it's been, well, here's the artwork. It's been several years since I've seen this one. Maybe it's been in a five pack and I just don't remember. But nice to see this one. We've seen the Ford Transit models. Um, this one looks really good. Pizza. Uh, the first one, the first version of this car was done in just a plain teal, and I always liked that. Um, then obviously it's going to have these uh, these decos ever since. All right, last two. These are the highlights for me. One is the 89 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. We saw it in red last year. Unofficial ode to Breaking Bad. And now we see it in black, both with the wood paneling. This one doesn't get the chrome grill as well. This one just goes with the gray. Still, though, really, really like this one. Some of you thought it was too small. I, I understand, but I think the proportions look really good on here. Um, I like how it sits. Is it a little high? Maybe, but I do like this model a lot. Wagoneer was kind of a no-brainer for Matchbox to do. I'll do some pictures of this one, compare it, comparing it with the uh, Hot Wheels Wagoneer, because they also did a black Wagoneer with wood paneling, right? So that one would be, uh, you know what? I'll go get it. Give me one second. It's right here. Just walk over. Open up the wall display because it's one of my favorites. There's the Hot Wheels. So there. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Let's see. They're about. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the Hot Wheels is definitely bigger. But cool to see them both together. All right, and the last one, and this is the highlight. Hopefully it's the one, well, you've been waiting to see it. It's the 85 Porsche 911 Rally. Brand new model. This was the Toy Fair version, in fact. That's the fun thing about wall displays. You can just walk over and get it. So there is the Toy Fair. This was, I've featured this one. This was the, uh, this was to celebrate the brand given to retailers to promote Matchbox for 2019. So it's the 2019 Toy Fair model. And this is the basic version. That deco looks somewhat familiar, but we'll just leave it at that, right? It's not licensed, but uh, a rally style, we'll say that, looks really, really good. Have I even shown the artwork? Art is just fantastic. And so is the model. No details on the front. You kind of expect that with the side details. Hopefully we'll see a premium version of this one because I really like it. It has the roof rack, um, blue interior. I like the wheels that they've chosen with the white rims. Really, really cool model. So there you go. That is the Matchbox 2019 B case. Those are the highlights, at least for me. Tell me what you guys think of these models. What's your favorite? What one are you going to buy? What Are you going to buy them all? Are you going to buy um, just a couple? You tell me what you're going to do. All of them look good. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.